Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. And so what we got going on here is that we have to determine the area in the green region shown inside the semicircle. And this will be our 22nd part of our math skill series. So we have a few pieces of information that we know about this. Semicircle going on here is our overall shape. We have one line segment, which is eight centimeters, and another one, which is four centimeters. And these two segments are separated by 12 centimeters. So in order to get the green region of the semicircle, we have to know a couple things. We have to know the overall radius or diameter of the semicircle so we can get its overall area. And then we have to subtract out the total area in white. So one big piece of information that is going to help us is this. When the distance between segments, two segments, is equal to the sum of those segments. So for instance, we have two segments of eight centimeters and four centimeters, well, you add those together, that's 12. These segments are separated by the same amount of distance, which is 12 centimeters. So when this happens, we will have similar triangles forming when we connect the edge of these segments when they interact with the edge of the semicircle to the center of the semicircle. So for instance, if our center of our semicircle is roughly about right here, when we draw from here to there, and then from over from our center to the top of the four segment. This is what happens here, that this is our radius on each of these. And for our little triangle here on the left side, this would be four centimeters down here, and this would be eight centimeters over here. This is our similar right triangles forming here. So what we can do is that we can find the radius pretty quickly just by using the Pythagorean theorem because our radius will be the square root of, well, eight centimeters squared plus four centimeters squared. And that gives us a radius of exactly four square roots of five centimeters in length. So we can go ahead and we can find out the area of the overall semicircle pretty quickly here. So the area of our semicircle would just be pi r squared over two which is just pi times four square roots of five centimeters over two square it. And that gives us 40 pi centimeters squared as our overall area for our semicircle. Now, all we have to do is find out what's the area in white. Well, do you see what has formed here when I wrote in or drew in these two little triangles? Well, we have one triangle here, another right triangle here, and then we have a circle sector forming right over here. So if we combine the two triangles together and then with that third area of that circle sector, we can combine all that and subtract it from our overall area of our semicircle and that would give us what's in green. Okay, so let's find the area of our two triangles. Which I'm just going to abbreviate as two delta for two triangles. And since each one is going to be one half base times the height, well, the base and height are just going to be switched for each one. Well, since there are two of them, we are just going to take the base times the height, which would be eight centimeters times four centimeters. So the area of both those two uh, triangles combined would just be 32 centimeters squared. All righty. So what's left here is that we have to calculate this little circle wedge here. Well, we have to determine what this angle is right here, which I'll just call theta. <clears throat> well, that angle will be 90 degrees from this previous theorem that I just told you about, that the two segments of different lengths are separated by the length combined for them. Well, this will always be a 90 degree angle forming right here. And you can prove it like this. So the proof of this angle would be this, where you would have 180 degrees, which would be the, um, <laughs> it would be the angle for the straight line. And then subtracting off each little internal angle for our little right triangles. So you would subtract off tangent inverse of eight over four, and then subtract off tangent inverse of four over eight. And that would give you exactly 90 degrees for this theta angle right here. So now that we know that angle, which is 90 degrees, we can determine how much of the circular wedge there is. So that wedge area 
or that circle sector area, either way you want to call it, it's perfectly fine. So the wedge area would just be 90 degrees over our total of our circle, which is 360 degrees. And you would have to multiply that by the total area of a complete circle, not the semicircle. So that would just be two times my semicircle area of 40 pi, which is just 80 pi. So this would be my total area for this wedge right here, which comes out to be 20 pi centimeters squared. All right, so now we have the area of both these triangles, the area of my circle sector, which is 20 pi squared, and then I'm going to subtract those from my overall semicircle area. So the area in green would just be my semicircle area of 40 pi, subtracting off the two triangles combined, which is 32 centimeters squared, and then subtracting off the area of that circle wedge, which is 20 pi, and we end up with exactly, if you want to write it out in exact terms, or exact terms, it would be 20 pi minus all 32 centimeters squared. Or if you want to approximate it, it would be this, which comes out to be 30.832 centimeters squared. And that would be my area in green. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned a new math skill from it. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel as we are starting to have more videos um, of differential equations, um, calculus, uh, and other geometry type problems for our math skill series. Also with these types of math skill series, it is not, I'm not solely stating that this is the only way that you can solve this problem. I am just showing one possible way that you can solve this problem. So if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.